Good day. Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Today, you are going to learn about multiply two digit by two digit numbers with regrouping. Multiplication is the process of combining equal groups to find the total number of items. Now, Let's get started. Let's look at the number sentence. 37 times 24. Arrange the numbers in columns like this. Place the digit of the number in a column based on its place value. First, we multiply by the ones place. We are going to multiply. 37 times 4. Just ignore the 2. So 7 times 4 is equal to 28. We write 8 in the 1's column. Now we carry 2 to the 10's place. Next, we do 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Add the two tens that you have carried over. 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. We write 4 in the tens column and 1 in the hundreds column. Next, we multiply by the tens place. We are going to multiply 37 times 2. Put a zero to hold the one's place. That's because two is not a really a two. It is a twenty. So by adding the zero, we can keep its value. Next, we multiply seven times two. Seven times two is equal to fourteen. Now we write four and carry 1 to the tens column. Then, we multiply 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Then add the 1 ten that you have carried over. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now, we add the partial product to get the final answer. So, 8 plus 0 is equal to 8, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, and 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Our final answer is 888. Another example, 25 times 38. First, arrange the numbers in columns like this. Place the digit of the number in a column based on its place value. Next, we multiply by the ones place. We are going to multiply 25 times 8. Just ignore the 3. So, 5 times 8 is equal to 40. We write 0 in the ones column. Now, we carry 4 to the tens place. Next, we do multiply 2 times 8 is equal to 16. Add the 4 tens that you have carried over. 16 plus 4 is equal to 20. We write 0 in the tens column and 2 in the hundreds column. Next, we multiply 25 times 3. Put a 0 to hold the 1's place. That's because 3 is not a really a 3. It's a 30. So by adding that 0, we can keep its value. Next, we multiply 5 times 3. 
is equal to 15. We write 5 and carry 1 to the 10th column. Then multiply 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then add the 110 that you have carried over. So 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now, we add the partial products to get the final answer. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Our final answer is 950. Another example. 54 times 27. First, Arrange the numbers in columns like this. Place the digit of the number in a column based on its place value. Next, we multiply by the ones place. We are going to multiply 54 times 7. Just ignore the 2. So, 4 times 7 is equal to 28. We write 8 in the 1's column. Now, we carry 2 to the 10's place. Next, we do 5 10 7 is equal to 35. Add the two tens that you have carried over. So, 35 plus 2 is equal to 37. We write 7 in the 10's column and 3 in the hundreds column. Next, we multiply 54 times 2. Put a 0 to hold the 1's place. We multiply 4 times 2. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. We write 8 in the tens column. Then, we multiply 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Now, we are going to add the partial products to get the final answer. 8 plus 0 is equal to 8. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. Which we regroup 5 tenths and 100. So, 1 plus 3 plus 0 equals 4 and we bring down 1 our final answer is 1458 quiz time let's answer this you only have 20 seconds to answer find the product 38 times 26 start now Time's up. Our final answer is 988. 27 times 19. Times up, 27 times 19 is equal to 513. 45 times 37. 
The answer is 1,665. 53 times 45. Times up, 53 times 45 is equal to 2,385. 62 times 58. 62 times 58 is equal to 3,596 77 times 55 Times up, the answer is 4,235. 84 times 63. Times up, the answer is 5,292. 92 times 28. Times up, 92 times 28 is equal to 2,576. 29 times 25. Times up, 29 times 25 is equal to 725, 48 times 29. Times up, the answer is 1,392, 1,392. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy learning about multiply two digit by two digit numbers with regrouping. Thanks for watching.